What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And where is Dragon Ball Z Cat Crush DLC 5? That is the biggest question that everybody's asking right now because we got the last V jump. And I, I told y'all that would be a big indication as to when the DLC could potentially drop. Like, bro, I, the way that everything's been going, I have said June, I have said July, August. Like, it's crazy right now. But as bad as it may sound, I think that there's potentially a very good, hopefully what we all believe to be a very good reason for this delay. Because on the main website, guys, they have yet to update this to even show the, the DLC 5. Now, trust me, you're going to want to listen to this entire video because it's not going to be long. I'm not going to hold you long. But guys, I promise you. There's a point that I'm going to prove in here that you're going to want to hear. So this is the main website. When they was releasing the stuff for Bardock, they updated this pretty quickly. The fact that they still haven't updated this. However, on the main page, they do have the trailer there now. So that is some progress. Um, for Bardock, they had two different trailers. They had the announcement trailer and then they had, of course, the release trailer. So this one in a sense is the announcement trailer in a way like they have shown so much in the v jumps i'm beginning to think they're going a different direction with this dlc and not one that you're going to be upset about okay so i'm gonna just say this don't be surprised if we start getting v jumps talking about this one thing and what is that thing guys i believe that they are making ground com they're gonna put ground combat in the main game that's my speculation. The DLC, we know that the DLC is 2.0. They have been done with this for over a month. No DLC before this, guys. Every DLC before this was put out well before the time updated was a month. Well before it. All right. The fact that it's still not out yet. I mean, they're not even working on 2.0. They're working on 2.01. They're still working on that. Last time they touched that was two days ago. And they're working on 2.10. Okay. Which was touched about seven hours ago. Now, as far as 2.01, quality assurance debug was six days ago. And the quality assurance release. So it's still in the development phase right now. The development team is still messing with that. Guys, here's my belief. At this point. Because I we I, we have never, I think Rose would agree with this, Riken would agree with this, any other Dragon Ball Z con content creator would agree with this. We've never seen this before. Every DLC that's been out, this part has never hit the month part. It's, it's always been out like the 18, 19, 20 of days, something like that. The fact that this has hit over a month is crazy. And they're still working on this. So therefore, it is my belief. Guys, that ground combat, they're, they're work, I believe they're working on something to come to the main game. I do. Now, I also understand, we have to understand, that that's purely speculation based off of what I'm seeing. But guys, also we have to understand this. Them making ground combat, they're basically creating a completely new game. The entirety of Kakarot has been designed on combat that doesn't occur on the ground. So by them making ground combat, guys, I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of bugs involved. However, 2.01 could literally be, okay, so 2.0 clearly is the DLC. 2.01 could easily, easily be them working out all the bugs. So they develop it. Yeah, it's going to have some bugs, but they're going to have to do an update to clear out those bugs. 2.01 is not a, it could be a content drop. I don't know. Because some people speculate that 2.1 is is dlc 6 and some people think that they'll drop at the same time that's i don't think that's the case at all i believe that they they could be almost redoing the entire game it, it they could be going through redoing the boss fights to where you fight on the ground there's something going on aside from just dlc 5 guys there is something going on because they have an, a, the, the trailer is not your typical announcement trailer. We went through that in a previous video. Your typical announcement trailer shows nothing but cutscenes. 
you want to challenge me? Go, let me, what video was that? Let's, let's go check out that video, which video that was. I'm not going to play the video. I'm going to show you what video it is so that you can go and watch it for yourself. Uh, which video I'm talking about on my channel. Uh, 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 seven days was when I said the trailer was going to be shown. It was shown. Uh, oh, no, we did that in the live stream, didn't we? I think it was in the live stream because it wasn't in this one. So it, we must have did that in the live stream. The trailer breakdown probably was in now, but I can't even remember which one it was in. Guys, anyway, I'm going to tell you like this. If you go back on YouTube and you check out all of the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot announcement trailers, and you can check it out. It's either in this live stream. It could be in this live stream. I don't think I did it in this particular video because on that one, I did the V jumps. Uh, on that one, there was the leak. We talked about that. Uh, the trailer this week, I don't think. Actually, no, it may. Let's check it out. So, meet Grammarly Go. We don't want to pause that. We want to let that roll. But, guys, what, what we have to understand is this if you go back and look at every, let's see if I even pull those trailers up. I don't think I do in this particular video. No. So, it's not in this video. It's going to be in one of the live streams. All right. Guys, if you go back and look at all of these videos, all of the trailer, all the announcement videos, I'm not even going to go to those live streams. Those are hours long. We'd be searching for days. Guys, go check out those live streams. If you go back and look at all of the announcement videos, one thing that you're going to notice is that every single announcement trailer for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was nothing but cutscenes. Okay? We talked about this in the live stream. All of these, this particular trailer that they just put out, all right, is not a live stream, okay? It's not a live stream, all right? I mean, it's not, it's not a, uh, it's not, it's not cutscene. It's all gameplay, which were the later trailers for Kakarot, okay? So, yeah, we had to have talked about that in one of the live streams. It had to have been in this one. So, with that being said, guys, y'all have to understand this, all right? In these, in these videos, since they're showing you the, the live, the, 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 the cutscenes, that tells us that they're done with the gameplay. So, okay, what's the hold up? You know what I'm saying? What is the hold up? I'm just kind of skimming through that. No, it's not even in that live stream. Where did we cover that? We covered it somewhere, guys. I don't know. But yeah, yet and still. Go do your homework. Go check out all of the announcement trailers for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. You're going to see they're all cutscenes. They're not gameplay. This trailer is not cutscene. We haven't even had a trailer to show us the cutscenes. This trailer is all gameplay. It's actually even titled a uh, ground combat trailer. You know what I'm saying? We did the breakdown right here for it. It's all ground combat. It's, it is an actual trailer. It is not, uh, it's not a cutscene. It's, it's, uh, it's all gameplay. Oh, yeah. It was actually this video. That, yeah, that, the latest video. So if you go to that video, you can go and check it out here where I talk about it. This was Bardock. This was the announcement trailer. Guys, it's all cutscene, okay? If you go to the Trunks DLC, it's all cutscene. If you go to the uh, Frieza, the, all of those other ones, they're all cutscene, guys. They're all cutscenes for the announcement trailers. Now, later they did do gameplay trailers. But this first trailer that they put out for DLC 5 is all gameplay. So that, on top of the fact of they have yet to update this, we've had so many V jumps. We've had HD images being released, guys. They didn't do this for Bardock. Bardock, as soon as we got the stuff, that they put that in there. This was from the trailer. This was from the trailer. They put that in there. These was HD screenshots that was released. Those were on there. Same thing with this. And yet, and still, we get to DLC five, and it's nowhere to be found yet on this website. It's still updated. It, or it's still put, it's coming soon. They haven't even updated it there. So that is why I believe, based off of that, plus the development cycle, that, man, this stuff is is really, really, it's, it's possible. 
it's possible that this is 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 one of those deals. Guys, I think they're doing something for the main game. I do. Point blank period. Um looking through the change list, I don't see like any new tags or anything. I don't think any like anything like that's been pointed out. Um <laughs> added Metacritic. You can't even click on that. Added Metacritic. I guess that's just the Metacritic score. They just updated that. See, they took it off right there and put it back in. Uh, it's a change list. That's just updating everything. But, and heck, they could be adding some kind of a multiplayer thing. I don't know. And I, when I say multiplayer, I mean like tournament style thing. Because everybody's going to want to play the tournaments together in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So they could be doing that. Regardless, I think there's something big coming with this DLC that they're not telling us because it makes no sense for them to be a month done with the DLC as far as the, the base DLC and not have anything here. Um, it doesn't make sense. Now, the V jumps, the V jumps are basically done. I mean, you look at the older video that we had. The V jumps are basically done, guys. The V-Jump scans are basically done. That was actually in that live stream on the end. Yeah, videos. The V-Jumps are, are basically done. If we go look at the, the most recent ad, it's going to show an ad. Yeah. If you look at the most recent V-Jump scan, like, there's nothing else to show. What else could they possibly show in the V-Jump scan? All right. We got the final attack here, the meteor combo that everybody's crazy about, including myself. You got another scene here with Piccolo Giant. They show a different cutscene animation here and here. This one with Krillin, Tien, Chaosu, and Yamcha doesn't say anything about them being playable. But, dude, I really think that Tien is definitely going to be playable. I don't know about the other ones. They're showing some post-game. See, right here, this is post-game content. Of course, we know it's post-game. I mean, this one could be, like, during the middle of the DLC. Yeah, because, guys, it's not going to be strictly all tournament. We'll be able to do some free roam kind of stuff. Now, we know this. these scans are post post mode story mode of the dlc because goku and chi chi are married at this point and they're living in their house all right so all of this could be post so the fact that they're already sh already showing post dlc content i mean what else could they show in the next v jump aside from a new game mode or something coming to kakarot and heck it could be one of them things guys where they could pop up what's today wednesday we got the trailer, that first trailer released on what, like a Tuesday maybe? Maybe a Thursday? Heck, we can get a trailer next week and the DLC drop the week after that. They're unpredictable, but based off of these scans, man, I don't see it, man. The fact that this website is not updated at all and the fact that we don't have an official release date. I mean, the next trailer we know should be in a, a, a launch trailer. But even by the end, we had, before the launch trailers were released, we had release dates. With Bardock, when they showed the gameplay trailer for the second battle, I think it was the one on Planet Vegeta, we got a release date for that. That aired before the release date trailer. You know, same thing with Trunks. When that Well, Trunks, when we got the launch trailer, that's when we knew the release date. So it's no pattern as far as that goes, but the fact that the main website is not even updated on the next DLC, the fact that they're still working on this stuff here, and the fact that 2.0 has been done for over a month tells me that there's something else coming major. Heck, this could be it. 2.1 could be it. I don't know. And if that's the case, heck, it's going to be another month, two, three months, four months. I don't know, guys. 2.01 could be that. I don't know. All I know is 2.0 has been done for over a month, and the only thing we've gotten from it is an announcement trailer. Still don't have a release date. So that's why it's my speculation. that, And based off of all of the V-Jump scans that we've gotten, I mean, look, the V-Jump scans at this point are even showing what's happening after you beat the main story. So what's left? That's all I'm saying. The fact that they haven't even released uh, any other trailers, they haven't even updated the main website, it's possible, it's possible that there's more to meet style. There could be something more coming to the main game for Kakarot. Maybe some ground combat stuff. That, or 
Because normally when we get the V-Jump, the DLC drops a month later. Which would put the DLC mid-August. I don't know. Only time to tell. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below, guys. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.